Hi, everyone. This is Ron from PLCCulture.com. I'm here with Mayumi Yoshida and Amanda Sum, who have collaborated for this really great music video, different than before. Mayumi, Amanda, how are you? I'm good. Hi, Ron. Good. Hi, Ron. Thanks for having us. Absolutely. This is such a great music video that I had the opportunity to watch. It's unexpectedly emotional and powerful. Uh, just to set the stage for those who are watching this before they get to watch the full music video, it's a story about an engagement party at a Chinese restaurant where an Asian family comes um, kind of face to face with a group of rude racists, basically, <laughs> just to put it bluntly, who give them a hard time. And then and it goes from there and it stars Tai Ma and Olivia Chang, um, as well as you, Amanda. And so it, it's a great, really great story. Mimi, how did this all come together? Well, I was listening to her um, online concert, Amanda did a Zoom concert, and then she played different than before. And she talked about the inspiration of the song, which I'm sure you'll talk about later, but uh, I just like dibs. I, I want to make that music video. And we had just made our first music video together, Group Think. So it was, it was like, I just want to work with her again. I love that. And Mayumi, you're, you're perfectly segueing me into the next question. So Amanda, <laughs> you wrote this song in 2020. And so I'd love yeah. to hear about your creative process and your inspirations for the song. Yeah, so I wrote it in May of 2020, which was Asian Heritage Month, as it is again right now. Um, and at that time, it was coinciding with a lot um, more Asian hate crimes that were surfacing. And, and yeah, that was quite a trying time emotionally for I'm sure a lot of us in the Asian community and and it was clear to me that uh, a change needed to happen um, so that's kind of where the song started from but it kind of um, gets into this idea of wanting a change that we know isn't going to happen right away but we have to all stand up and work together to create this day where we can walk the streets and do mundane things without uh, fear um, and fear for ourselves and fear for our elders and our community. Yeah, so that's where the song came from. And here we are, like you said, two years later to the month from when you wrote yeah. this song. And sadly, not much has changed. And we're, as a community, still struggling with anti-Asian hate crimes and still worried for ourselves, our community members, our elders. Mayumi, how challenging has it been the, these last few years and, and how has, have you channeled that into this project? It's definitely changed the way I enter space alone. I think as an Asian woman, we've seen so many tragic news and I'm definitely hyper aware than two years ago. Um, because we came up with the story in 2020, we made sure that in, you know, just in February, we had many news of like Asian women getting attacked in New York and the very tragic news that happened. And we felt, I personally felt like um, I needed to check in with the people who are involved closely. We checked in with Ty, Amanda, Olivia and Lynn, and who really had a creative input in this. And that really helped make sure that our message is relevant. It's not, um, and I really believe that uh, a story is, storytelling is like a living, breathing thing. So it changes. And the more people you get involved, the more they can actually give so much more life to what you're creating as a director. So uh, I was really lucky that, um, all these actors and the producers were very open to sharing their vulnerable thoughts about the experience that they're feeling right now and what they feel like is what the message they want to send in the world. And it was really important for all of us to feel like we're on the same page about this story. So, uh, yeah. And I think that really comes through um, that collaborative process that you both are talking about. And I should have said from the start, um, Mayumi wrote and directed this music video. Amanda, of course, wrote, this, uh, wrote the song and performed it. Amanda, how does it feel to have this very powerful and, and relevant song and then have it brought to life on a whole new level working with uh, Mayumi for this music video? Mm, 
it's really exciting. And Mayumi and I had worked together back in 2020 as well on the first ever, I think that it was both of our first music yeah, video, yeah. Um, which was group think. And I, a lot of um, my work in that I'm trying to do within music is, is backed by the behind the scenes process. And so with that, the, the whole record that different than before is going to be on is made by an all female team and played by a seven piece Asian female band. And so it's really important to me for the behind the scenes to reflect the product. So if I'm writing about these themes of identity or, or such that that is um, reflected behind the scenes. And so working with Mayumi is it's just like on top of our friendship, it just feels so right. And the people that she brings in to lift that story even higher is really, really special and, and important too. Yeah. Agreed. And again, now you've delivered the perfect segue for me for my Yumi to, my my question is you know <laughs> we're just uh, we're, 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 we're vibing it's it's, it's the right <laughs> the, the, the vibe is perfect so Mayumi um speaking of the people that you brought in so this uh, music video stars Tai Ma and Olivia Chang who not only are incredible uh, actors with just a great a catalog of, of projects behind them but they really have been vocal advocates um, for Asian issues and for our community so how did how did they, you, you bring them into this project? I think from the very early stage of this idea, we thought Tai. Tai was really the, and he, he was very visible on social media on, in vocal about uh, Asian, stop anti-Asian hate crimes and anti-Asian hate. And it, it was so natural to, for him to be part of this in my head because in both of our minds, because it's, he's just such an icon. And if we want the message to go through and reach all these people in our community, I think having him just was the best case scenario. And the same with Olivia too. I think both of them in real life, they are huge activists in for our community and, and beyond our community. So we wanted to, as much as like this is a very um, community driven, like it's very family oriented. We feel like our whole crew is a family, but the message is very universal. And it's, it's uh, we, what we want to tell to the world is spreading the joy and um, that fighting racism and um, big issues is, is easier in unison. And that's what Ty and Olivia has been doing in, in their real life. So I think ha being having them involved, not only as incredible actors, but them actually manifesting that in real life, it just adds more weight to the project. And I was, I, I wanted that weight with those actors. So I'm really happy that that happened. Yeah, and they're so incredible. I love them. I just love them so, so much and everything. And the mm -hmm. best collaborators, seriously, they just, they were so open about talking about all this. And, you know, Ty shared about his very personal experience of what happened. And that kind of changed the whole scene in the end. And which I was so happy that it changed in that way because he informed me about like what his lived experience was. And uh, it really shaped this story into another level. So, and that's the, that's the best relationship, right? With an actor, if, you're an, if an actor brings this idea and it elevates it, you have to be, or you want to be open to that change because it's only gonna get better. That's amazing. Can you elaborate at all about the change at the end and, and maybe what it was before and how it evolved? Yeah, originally it was the father stands up for the whole restaurant and then he turns around and everybody's sort of like looking at him like, oh my gosh, he did that. And then, you know, they all look at him with proud uh, expression and he's sort of like, yeah. But then uh, Ty gave us this um, really amazing story, which I won't share because I think he should tell one day, uh, but that really affected us. And basically the change was that I think all of, all of them is inspired by that one person's courage. And then everybody stands up. And then it, because of the, the, the power of unison, um, they were able to 
all stand up together rather than relying on this one person to do the job. We can't be, being indifferent is just as bad. Indifference is, you know, it's, it's part of the problem. So that was the big, that big change that happened in the end. Oh, I love that. And thanks for sharing that because I, I think that was obviously one of the most powerful moments of, of the music video. And it was very poignant because you definitely see everyone stand behind him. And then he turns around and sees everyone, you know, on their feet, both proud of him, like you talked about, but also, like you said, inspired. You can tell that there's like this determination in their in their faces, which I thought was really powerful. Um, that's that's beautiful. Amanda, so you got to play one of Ty's daughters uh, in the music video. <laughs> How wild is Bucket that? Bucket list. <laughs> Asian American bucket list. Woo! That's, yeah. <laughs> bucket list, seriously. Uh, and that, which I thought was so great. Uh, what was it like performing with Ty and Olivia? And did they give you any advice that was helpful in terms of uh, playing the role? Oh, it was like such a pinch me moment because you know, Mayumi and I, we had talked about this concept way back and, and these names were thrown around and, and with new COVID waves, we didn't know what actually, who we could land. And, and we had talked, you know, at, it was like the height of the Omicron um, uh, wave and talked about having a, an understudy for each person it was like, that was the point of the time that we had to work through. So that we actually got to um, pull this together with the dream team is a little bit, I'm still reeling from it. And yeah, I, I'm just like so honored and feel so privileged and lucky to be able to work alongside these people who I've looked up to as artists, as actors, as activists, and to share the same room with them to deliver this message like to, it's not about me it's about what we're making and what we're saying to the world so that like that truly grounds me and and is really really humbling that we're all um we're all in this to to spread the nuances and the details and the joy of our community and and what it is to to live through this. Yeah, absolutely. Now, I don't, uh, this this music video, I think has, is, is very layered, has a lot of subtlety and I don't want to like rob the subtlety of it from, of, of the viewer's experience, but well, you may, I do want to, like, I do want to ask you, there is, there is this great moment in the beginning. So um, Ty's character goes up on stage, he's seeing karaoke. He, he has this almost fantastical, almost like everything everywhere all at once. I don't know if you've seen that film yet, but it yeah. had this moment where he's this like celebrity and everyone's signing, he's signing autographs, but then he sees that his family is still disappointed. What's, what's the message in that, in, in that moment, if you, if you don't mind sharing? Yeah, um, my, in that moment, he's sort of trying to gain his confidence and he, he goes to this dream sequence where he sees himself in this elaborate costume and then he's this rock star and perhaps that was a dream of his, who knows? But now he's this iconic character and everybody's sort of like really excited to see him and just, just so amazed by him and it feels really good for him. But at the core, there's still something that isn't solved, which is his connection to his family has been lost possibly for the last several years. Maybe because the daughters have grown and the, and the family has, the dynamic has changed a bit. Or perhaps as a father, he's become a little bit more distant. And so he goes back in time to remember all these little memories with his kid when they were little babies and the, the happy moments with his wife and then him being a more present dad for his daughters and since so, and that memory kind of brings him back brings him into I don't know if it's a spoiler I think they, at this point it's a spoiler but we go <laughs> into like this Hollywood beautiful like La La Land dance sequence because really that's his idea of like him being with her, his his daughters and his wife and being able to be the dad that perhaps he should have been but again at the very end of that sequence the daughter, her, her expression drops because he still hasn't dealt with what 
is happening in real life. So it brings her back because the, the echoing voice of the heckler is laughing. It brings him back to real life. And then the daughter's expression is like a sign that like, dad, you're still not here. Even though, you know, his idea, his, he's living his past and he's feeling like, oh my gosh, this is, this is what I lost and I'm reliving it. It's great. But at the core, have you really changed? And it hasn't, which is what brings him back to real life. Oh, Mimi, I'm like, you're giving me chills, but also like, I feel emotional about this. As a father myself, I can totally empathize. And maybe that's why I was so emotional watching the, the music video. It really, it, it was very poignant. It, by the way, those home video flashbacks, is that, was that also separately filmed? Is that somebody's home videos? Like, where is that from? <laughs> it, was, it was separately filmed, yeah. <laughs> and, and great actors, all local actors, Howie Lai, Jasmine Chen, and these, the two girls, oh my gosh. And one of Mama them and Mia. exactly like Amanda. It's crazy. It's so <laughs> I thought for sure you were going to tell me it was somebody's home videos from the <laughs> it, it There was, was a talk. Like, yes. <laughs> we got it. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> incredible. That was like an incredible moment. Um, oh, that's good. Oh. So, you know, uh, again, we can go full spoilers. Like at the end, what ends up happening is Ty is inspired by that vision to go confront the hecklers. And what I thought was incredible is the, the main heckler stands up and he's a tall guy. He's intimidating. This is not going to be, if this was a physical confrontation between Ty and this, this, this guy, it's not, it's not really going to go well. Oh, um, you don't know though. <laughs> fair, fair. I, I should not strong. underestimate. <laughs> No. <laughs> but yes in their character perhaps fair right yeah. um so amanda i'd love to hear mm -hmm. how you experienced obviously not just writing the song and and being a part of this but being there as like ty's daughter in that moment yeah what's the the message of that confrontation that was that resonated with you mm, yeah i think um growing up for in real life for me I know my dad had told me that you can't win every fight. And, you know, as much as there were times that um, a lot of this, the sister, Olivia's character, um, in that way of, of in real life, me wanting to stand up and speak up against something, but I would check myself because it is true. If I was up against Heckler, tall six foot tall man I'm not gonna I'm not gonna win that fight and that had been instilled in me you know despite the the heart behind it there is a lot of danger in that and I think that has become as Mayumi said earlier a hyper awareness in instilled in in many people um like us who look like us um so this message that comes across with Ty's character is this feeling of okay if if one person does it it isn't just it isn't just the one person doing it it is the whole restaurant standing with him and that to me is is really kind of the the root of it because yeah to be to be real one person standing up to someone is dangerous. So if we all are um, have this awareness and we're all together um, standing up, then yeah, there's power in unison, as as Miami had mentioned, and and filming the video too. It separating myself and actor self. It was like, oh, this is. It feels real. It feels really real which yeah, I think is important not to lose, to lose that. Um, and Mayumi creates such a um, joyful set too, that even when it feels heavy, we know there's like, it's so safe for all of us emotionally and, and physically, but that there's, that there's an awareness that this is a safe, um set to be able to tap in and feel those things because they are real and they happen outside of it oh it to the actors though the people who are like 
Matthew, Trevor, Cole, Morgan, you, Ty, Olivia, Sachin, like, and all the, the folks who are at the table, they, and it was really, it was really fun so selecting these actors. Casting is like, it's, it's, it's very, uh, I think it's an art form. I really respect casting directors and I, it was really fun casting this too, because, and challenging in a way as well, because we want to make sure it's a safe set. We want to make sure that the people that are casting, who we're, who we are casting for the hecklers, they're, their belief aligns with us. And I, you know, mm -hmm. I sent the whole package to them to let them know, like, this is our intention. This is where it came from. This is why we want you to play this. And I knew that they're all such warm hearted people and they were very generous. And I, I, I I'm going to say it, they, they, everybody got paid an honorarium, but all the hecklers, they donated the money back saying like no we were very just grateful to work on this together and just like you know they did not have to do that at all but um yeah and and the the cast members were all there was always laughter so I I honestly felt supported by them so yeah I love to hear about how what a not just positive but safe you both have mentioned safe numerous times about the, the project and what a safe environment it was because it's so important when you're dealing with this type of issue that it is safe for everybody to really feel like they can deliver the performance that's necessary. And especially with that group of actors who played the racists, because it's not easy to play the villain in general, but especially those types of villains, it's not easy, but I thought they did an incredible job and um, you got a, a, an incredible performance out of them. So last question for you both. Um, it ends like we already talked about in a great way where the restaurant all stands in support. And I love the shot when he when Ty turns around because we see who has stood behind him and um, many women, um, you know, and then and diverse a diverse group too. They're not all Asian. There's a black man. There's brown women. That, you know, I thought that was an incredibly powerful scene. So what? Mayumi, starting with you, what is the lasting message and takeaway you hope that people will take away from watching the music video? Yeah, I hope, and thank you for noticing that because it was def it was intentional that we made sure that the people who are standing against these race racists are not just East Asian. It's an a Asian Heritage Month, Month isn't just about East Asian at all. It's, you know, it's, it's all encompassing all of our cultures that identify as Asian. So thank you. And uh, I think there's all sorts of things, but if, if I could mention perhaps about the, the universality of family, um, I, I hope that this, any, anybody who watches this will not be afraid of change and being different that or or different or something is different than before. I hope that it gives them the courage to feel like if you hold on to yourself and your beliefs, then and find what's truly important, then even if things change in front of you, the most important things will never change. So I hope that through this music video, that's what the father finds about his daughter leaving the family and now departuring into a, a new life. And he's now accepted that, but that doesn't change his relationship with his daughter. He can still be a loving dad and be there for her. So, yeah. That's beautiful. Uh, Amanda, same question to you. The music video ends as the, as the resolution happens, the line from your song is we're different than before. Mm -hmm. And so what's different? What do you hope is different? And what, what do you hope people take away from your song and this video? Yeah, I think the visual, the music video really um, reflects the main, like where the song started, which is that, yeah, these changes and these differences um, aren't straight away things, but together, and we see that with this whole restaurant, if we're all adamant about wanting this change, which clearly we are and seeing you know these devastating things in the news we're wanting it but we're also needing a change um and that together standing up 
that we can get to a place where we're different from before. And, you know, as, as this was written in 2020, these things are still happening and these things are still changing. Um, some positive, some negative things, you know, um, but that if we're all um, keeping our foot on the pedal of, of like driving towards this, this systemic change, um, that we can someday get there slowly. And I think that's um, said from, if I think about first line, last line of the song itself, which is, which is something that I've learned through script developments in like narrative plays, but I like to implement that upon songwriting too, just to see, to track where the trajectory of the character of the song is. It starts off saying something's gonna change and it ends off saying we're different than before. And within that first line, last line, there's that whole arc of growth. And I think the characters in the music video all ride that arc. Yeah. Oh, I love that. I love it. <laughs> Perfect ending. Perfect answer. Well, thank you both so much for using your talents and your important voices in this way. I think it's just an incredible project and uh, we need it. We need this and we need your voices. So congratulations to you both. Thank, thank you, you, Ron. So much. I love you, Amanda. Love you, Mayumi. <laughs> you look so beautiful too. Oh, thanks. You, you too. too, Ron. You too, Ron. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> Likewise. <laughs>